Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. This time I'll be showing you how to do a factory reset on the Samsung Galaxy S7. This also works with the S7 Edge too. So, you might be facing problems with your S7 and 9 out of 10 times doing a factory reset can help to fix the issue. So, you could follow this video, do a factory reset, see if it solves the problem. Also, it's highly recommended to do a factory reset when you're selling the phone on to somebody else or if you're giving it to somebody else, whatever. Because um, doing a factory reset will wipe the phone clean. It will get rid of all your personal information and everything. So it's highly recommended you do this if you're selling the phone on. So I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. So all you have to do is go into the settings and go down to backup and reset. And just scroll all the way down to the bottom here and select factory data reset. If you just want to reset the settings to their default settings, you can do that. If you want to reset the network settings, you can just select this option here. But if you want to just wipe the phone totally clean, erase everything, you need to select this option here, factory data reset. And as you can see here, it's, it explains what it's going to wipe. So it's going to wipe your Google account, your system apps, data, device settings, downloaded apps, music, pictures, everything's going to get wiped. So just make sure that you back up any important files, pictures, videos, whatever. Just um, transfer everything, what you think is important, over onto your PC or your USB stick. And um, once you've done that, just go ahead and hit reset device. And... It will also tell you one more time, all your personal information and download applications will be erased and cannot be recovered. So just go ahead and erase everything. And it's just gonna shut down now and do the factory wipe. Depending on how much things you've got on your phone, it shouldn't really take that long to wipe. So as you can see, it's erasing there. Once it's finished erasing, it will then boot back up. Okay, so now it's just installing the preloaded applications. And we're back to the welcome screen here. So like I said, if you're selling it onto somebody else, you can just turn off the device now, put it back in its box and sell it back on. If you're keeping the device, you'll have to go through the whole setup process again, like when you first got the phone. Yeah, so anyway, this was just my quick video showing you how to do a factory reset on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a like and also leave any comments in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one. See you boy, the Android Doctor. And I'm out. Deuces.